What kind of show is this? Oh, that's right. It's the ghost talk show. Watch the ghost talk because Aaron, what is it, G. Thompson? Oh, my God. He is so awesome. My name is Elizabeth Saint. I'm from Destination America. Seriously, watch the ghost talk. This guy's amazing. Welcome to Ghost Talk, the most active paranormal show on YouTube. Hello, I'm your host, Aaron G. Thompson, and with me today is Nick Simons. We've made it to another Ghost Talk. Happy Monday, everyone. Good to see you. You guys look wonderful. Ghost Crier is sponsored by Ken Boggle. Thanks, Ken. Carol by Ken. It's Ken Boggle. That's how they say it on Paranormal Filler. Oh, nice. Paranormal Filler's information down below, too. Check them out. Wes is good people. Ken is good people. We keep a good crowd, guys. You are good people because you're watching us and our people. And I think you want to talk ghost. Girl captures chilling image of ghost child in back of her mom's car. Scary, scary, spooky stuff. That ghost image inside the car is, you know, it, you know, there's a little kid back there, it looks like. Right. No matter how you zoom in, you can't like be like, oh, it's matrixing, so it's either they're lying, and there really was a kid back right. there, and when they're saying, oh no, there wasn't nobody back there, they're from Florida, they got beat up by the hurricane, and they're like, how can we get famous? Oh, I know, we'll put Johnny in the back seat, because like you zoom in, like you can even see fingernails on the kids little fingers he's like saw dude the thing that i thought was funny with this photo is it looks it really does look pretty good if we would have seen the eyes it would be more of a good evidence in the paranormal realm everything went in line just perfectly because it looks pretty good but i question if it might be a prop of some sort she forgot it was there maybe it's a cardboard cut out of something a mannequin a mannequin heck she might be a mannequin creator we don't know yeah. the background mannequin makers eh, it could be something from the pictures aspect from the angle it it looks good it looks like there's a mouth it looks like there's something there but it's interesting because the eyes are not shown there's even hair too like you look at the one and ah. it's like kids got like you know like a bowl cut <laughs> so it must be from so the it's 90s kind of like you know that right? and... <laughs> get it the bowl cut okay yeah it's a fun photo what do you guys think post your comments below let us know we're not gonna point down below because everybody points so we'll just Look, post your comments below. Oh, they're they're happening. Oh, there they are. Thanks, Michael. Yeah. Uh, We're on the forefront of innovation. Yes. <laughs> it's like yeah. smell o vision. Yeah. Get really close, guys. Really close. All right. I think we want to answer a question. What do you say? Bring it on. We'll bring it on that social media questions. Our first question is from Twitter. We call her Twitter Tasha. Actually, she runs this team. It's the Phantom Crew. They do some excellent work. She has a lot of motivation and determination, and she's going to push, succeed, and be a huge asset in the porn, par, the poor normal realm. Porn a normal. <laughs> Damn it, man, that that's, was flagged. That's, that's more of my section, the porn a normal. Uh, so sorry <laughs> about this. I swear, don't check my search history. What? Where do you see yourself, Nick, in five years? Kind of reminds me of the Family Guy episode where he's like, don't say doing your wife, don't say doing your wife. You really only have a three-year. But this is the three-year plan is, if the three-year plan is successful, we can move on to years beyond that. But five years, hopefully, you know, it's, there we go. Hopefully we're opening a museum in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> I love that five-year plan. I see it happening. Thank you for supporting us and asking these questions. If anyone else wants to ask us questions, please blast us on any social site. Where do I see myself in five years? We have a three-year plan. The three-year plan is the big goal. It's really to see if we can sustain ourselves in this type of environment consistently with high quality and just growing on the aspect of giving good paranormal content to really create a career in ghost hunting. We can't do it the traditional way because this is by all means not a traditional career. So we have to utilize what aspects of uh, professionalism we, we can, pulling from a show format as it evolves and, and develops, better lighting, better camera, a better flow. That's gonna develop patreon.com. It's gonna be a huge asset because it allows you to drive a paranormal team that, as far as I know, isn't on that space. That's a bold thing to do. Ask someone for money 
to do this. But we're kind of bold, you know? I think we uh, you know, at least meet or exceed the value that a lot of the TV teams do, uh, you know, provide for their fans. We want to do that, but we want to do this on a more intimate level. We're not getting like millions and millions of people at supporting us. That's not going to happen. I'm not cool with that. But if we have like 500 people, 500 core people, we can come up to you, give you hugs, high five, drink at the bar, yeah. really chill out and have a personal, intimate, Rain it down. Relationship yeah. with you. That's our big goal. We can succeed in this. We have the experience. We have the talent. And we have the drive. So we're just going to push as hard as we can to see if this is an option. You know, see if the world wants to see something like this. Clearly, they want to see it through the TV, through the drive of the producers there. But do you want to see something a little more raw, a little more manageable, personal, intimate? You know, that's us. We're yeah, real. Kind of building off of what he said. You always have to, you know, being where we're at, you always have to come up with new things. You, you can't just go to a cemetery at night and say, is there anybody out here? I mean, we have to keep reaching for newer locations, <laughs> uh, trying different experiments. And... Yeah, we, we absolutely will. And just kind of give you an idea of our journey so far it hasn't been easy honestly we've we're only a year in this and mind you we've been doing this a long time but really to put a focus to actually turn this into something without hoping that you know a tv company will see us we're the new thing on fox fx disney <laughs> yeah ghost hunting on ice we can do that i can learn to skate i'm open yeah. to that we have these skills we have these abilities we want to just drive uh, you know drive a vision see if we can do it past year all we've been focusing in, on is our social space is our business branding we only started to make movement Within the last month, the beginning of October, to move our feet around, get that website launched, and show people we're not all talk. Patience, patience is key. We've built the space. We've built the platform of where we can communicate and really have a good time with you. You know, we're showing you that we're we're more than talk. Not only I feel we're a personality at least, whether yeah. good or bad. I thought Multiple. we looked good. Multiple personalities. Nick and I, and I'm going to say this loosely, we have a 40 hour job, right? That's yeah. something we have to have so we can maintain our normal life, some normalcy until we're able to, to take that scary moment and, and cut, the, cut the normal job and move to, to this. 2018, that's the goal. That's the three year plan. I work a wall, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's a wall of work all day. I just work in between any time I can get away from clients and whatnot. I'm on social space trying to answer, trying to blast, trying to keep you know that name, that company name going. Hard work, it really is hard, but it's a must. And I really enjoy communicating with you guys. So totally appreciate that, appreciate the feedback. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Well, I'll tell you what, I put about, on average, and I'm actually going down a little bit, 30 hours extra on top of my normal you know, 44 after you know it all said and done. An extra 30 hours that I'm away you know, for my wife, from my friends, and doing what I want to do, doing what I'm passionate about, and what I know that can be a career. In five years from now, once we succeed on our three-year goal, we will have that museum. We'll have maybe a garage that looks like a museum. We'll get a mohawk. We will dye that <laughs> mohawk. We'll take a poll. You guys will choose what color that mohawk will be. Hell yeah. I'll because be we would be working for ourselves. We would be our own drivers won't judge me for my tattoos <laughs> any hair coloring or pink t-shirts or pink t-shirts we can wear pink t-shirts we should have pink t-shirts you have a pink t-shirt five years from now even being active really active over a month right now i'm already seeing that we've had so much positive response um, with networking and just feedback from our videos our youtube channel is super new but boy are we getting a lot of views for having a super new still smells new even. yeah it has a new youtube youtuber smell yeah. Uh, it's not that sweaty YouTuber smell. That comes yeah. later. Old cobwebs. Ugh. Ugh. Five years? I think we're just going to keep rolling. Doing this with a much better environment, more consistent events, more consistent networking, bigger Patreon pledge following that drives us putting 100% focus into ghost hunting and turning this content into uh, something that can educate, inspire, entertain, influence you. I believe we're gonna hit that in five years. And beyond that point, maybe there's gonna be a movie. Documentaries, we need to do that. Maybe a book. People like writing books, right? Ghostcrier.com is a place you can follow. Patreon.com slash Ghost Crier is a place you can support. If you choose to support, we 
Totally appreciate it. Feel free to share. Please keep the conversation, you know, below. Check us out. That's cool. For a dollar, you'd be amazed at what I'd do for a dollar. Nick, for a dollar, where can they follow you? Spicy guy. <laughs> for a dollar. For a dollar. You can follow me on Twitter. I work night shifts, so if you're up super late, I'm more than likely up. So just tweet me and I'll tweet you back. Twitter at GCPI Nick. Joe's Achievement. Unlocked. Slam the door. You're shaking scared. Live your life with so much fear. Wipe your eyes. Hide your tears. Stop. Let me make this clear. This about you and me. No blind mutiny. Only power unity. Together we will see. Peace.